Kate Gosselin's main motivation isn't her children, but rather the money she could make off of her children. Kate, along with her husband, exploited their eight kids for fame and fortune. John is far from innocent, but it looks like Kate is so much worse. She sent her son away to be tortured at a mental asylum, then she stole $100,000 away from them. Kate has shown zero remorse for what she's done to her kids, and it's sick. So let's get into it. The show John and Kate Plus 8 seems like an experimental reality show that should have never happened. John and Kate were married and had two kids together. Then they had six more children all at one time. This caught the attention of television network TLC, which led to Kate Gosselin becoming a reality star overnight. Girls will tell you that. Mommy, you're boring. Daddy's fun. The groundbreaking reality series first premiered in 2007 and became one of TLC's highest rated programs ever, with Kate's hair becoming Halloween's go-to costume. When it comes to John and Kate, I don't think either of them are innocent because they both put their children in compromising situations for financial gain, exploiting every moment of their private life. But it does seem like Kate Gosselin is a little bit worse. She became one of the most recognizable people in this country. She also became one of the most hated. She's the Karen. Can you stop breathing so loud, honey? He's like... <laughs> She's the Karen meme. She is the, like, hello? You need to stop playing toys oh. and come help. John can talk all the crap he'd like, but he's just as bad as Kate. I mean, maybe Kate's a little bit worse because she's clearly motivated by money. And after doing some research about this show, I was shocked at how disrespectful she was to her husband publicly because she constantly degraded him every single episode. Can we have a Kate and John switch day where I get to stand and cross my arms? I've been thinking about that lately. Well, it's our usual John not helping discussion. I, it's not that he doesn't help. I think I said that wrong. He helps a lot. You see that. I just wish he would say, what can I help you with, Kate? That would, like, reduce my stress by 95%. Clearly, this is a toxic relationship, which makes them perfect for reality television because people were entertained by the drama. But if you think about this, it's almost like this is a YouTube family channel on crack, and this is all at the expense of their children. One of their children's name is Colin. And back in August 2016, Kate announced that she enrolled him in a program to help him with his special needs. But in fact, he didn't need to be in a program like this at all. You shouldn't have been there. You know, I came to the conclusion that everybody has their own agenda. You know, my mom had her own agenda. I don't know exactly what that was, but my agenda was to make it out on top of that tough spot. At the time, Kate said Colin's institutionalization was due to, quote, special needs. You can't do anything without realizing he's missing. Colin wasn't there. Each unique child is receiving exactly what they need. The way that she put his medical needs on blast is disgusting because people don't need to know about this. And Kate made it sound so much worse than it actually was. Colin recently did this interview where he addressed his lack of relationship with his mom, which he claims started even before he was institutionalized. Quote, even before being there, I don't think we had much of a relationship. And I think that just kept tearing it even more down. It was actually Colin's father, John, who came and rescued him from this institution. Because if you don't have special needs or medical needs, you really shouldn't be in a place like this because it's not where you belong. And he actually wrote letters to his father while he was locked away, begging for him to come and save him. Um... After being there, I didn't have a relationship with her. Even before that, I don't think we had much of a relationship. And um, I think that just kept tearing it even more down. Colin told me he was finally able to leave the institution after writing John this gut-wrenching letter begging for help. Quote, you're my dad, my savior. Please help me. I'm counting on you to get me out of here. Daddy, I love you. I think being in a place like that does more damage than, than it helps you. Um, so I was hopeless um, and, and you know I figured out how to write to my dad and that was kind of 
one thing that that kind of helped me mentally figure out that there was a way out of there and you know a second chance you know redemption if you would um so it gave me hope in my future for sure the judge granted John custody on June 14th, 2018, and Kate didn't even bother to show up, which shows me that she just had given up, maybe because she knows she's in the wrong, or maybe because she has so many other kids that if she's just missing one, it's not a big deal, which is pretty heartbreaking to think about. Did it bother you that she didn't show up? It didn't really bother me. I mean, they just gave it to my dad, and you know, she wasn't there to put her word in, so that's what happened. How has life been for you and Hannah together? Um, oh, Hannah, I, I would do anything for my sister, and I love her to death. Hannah, uh, she was a big part of um, you know my emotional support. She helped me out a lot, and still does to this day. You know, she does so much for me. In that clip, you guys heard Colin speak about his sister Hannah, and it actually turns out that Hannah is also in the care of John because he was awarded custody of Hannah a couple of months before he gained custody of Colin. So there's something going on here because these kids are leaving their happy home with Kate and moving with their father. And there's this weird division because we do have like what? like eight children here and we've got two who are separating away so what's going on with the rest of the six that are under kate's care since 2016 hannah has lived with john brother colin joined later the rest of the sex tuplets alexis aiden joel and leah live with kate and why did you choose to live with your father if i've always been closer to my dad i just feel like there was unfair treatment in my mom's house. And when you say unfair, do you mean unfair towards your brother Colin? Yeah, you my brother Colin did kind of take, you know, the front of it sometimes. Maybe Hannah gets along with her father better, but I think there's something more to this because Kate is a problematic person. And like I said, I did some research for this video and I found some clips where she's just being straight up like abusive to John and to her children. And the way that she talks to people is so degrading. Here's a clip where she's speaking to John about her concerns when it comes to his weight gain. I'm a little worried about your workout situation for shoving all baked food. Oh, it's awesome. yeah. You eat constantly for five or six years. Yeah. I'm working on that. You can insult me all you want. You've called me fat for the last three seasons. We don't have our lives in seasons. I, at least I don't. For the last three seasons. As if, as if we live our life by seasons. He is so, so, I don't know what the word is, but that is just tacky. John definitely triggered Kate there, as he should, because she's waiting until the cameras are rolling so she can call him out on his weight and his body in front of the world, which I think is just so gross because that's such a sensitive topic that I feel like Kate probably waited until the cameras were there to try to make John feel some type of way. The, my point, my point being is, oh my, all she does is make fun of my weight. So now I'm doing something about it. I could care less. It's past the wait. We don't live in terms of seasons. Sorry. I could care less what they call us. We don't live in terms of seasons. The final thing I'd like to mention about John's weight is that this was an issue throughout the show. And at one point, he actually got a personal trainer and he told the personal trainer that she was a fuzzy bunny, I guess, compared to Kate, which is really weird. But I think what he's like kind of alluding to is that Kate's a hard ass and not very kind. And it's probably very difficult to live with her. She's tough. I mean, I called her a fuzzy bunny compared to Kate. So then she got mad and you called her a fuzzy bunny. Yeah. What does that mean? It means workout wise. See, don't, it wasn't like she wasn't pushing me hard enough or. You call you, you said to her, you're a fuzzy bunny. Compared to you. Yeah. I've never heard that terminology. How interesting. She's really nice. I mean, compared to Kate. <laughs> I want to recognize that I do have some empathy for Kate because she's literally a mother of eight children. That's a lot of stress and a lot of pressure, but it does not take away from the poor decisions she's made. And she has stolen from these kids. John accused his estranged ex-wife, Kate, of stealing 100K from their children's trust fund. But according to new court documents, Kate claimed that she had to 
borrow the money just to survive. John took his ex-wife Kate to court because he had gained custody of Hannah and Colin, and once he gained custody, he was able to look into their bank accounts and see that a ton of money was missing. So if he never gained custody of these two children, they would have never known that their mother was stealing their money, and once they became 18, they wouldn't have money for college. Because that's what their money was supposed to go to. But it seems like this few has been going on ever since their divorce, and it's been bitter the entire time. Things are clearly still very contentious between John and Kate in the nearly 13 years since their 2009 split. Kate and I have decided to separate. I'm not very fond of the idea, personally. 10.6 million viewers tuned in to watch their televised separation announcement. John now claims the network covered up the real reason their 10-year marriage ended. I can't believe that they waited to announce their divorce until they had an episode of their show. It just shows you how twisted this relationship and this family dynamic is because it's all dictated by TLC and what they want to put out there. But when it comes to their divorce, it does seem like there was some cheating involved. Why did the divorce happen? Yeah. Because a certain person left me for a certain somebody. John alleges that certain somebody worked closely with his family on the series. There was this relationship that yeah. was going on in front of you. Yep. What did you say when you found out? Oh, I knew. I was like, end it. Kate is always denied having an affair. So John claims that Kate had a relationship with like a security guard or someone who's on set. And it actually seems like this rumor is probably true. And Kate was actually confronted by Bethany Frankel on her show about this. And here's her reaction. Made a lot Definitely. of money. And okay, you were making a huge blessing. Yes. To be able to. Right. To so you were, that. you got some plastic surgery. So they say, but it looked oh, I like I did it. have a tummy tuck. Okay. Absolutely. So people were saying, okay, now you have a tummy tuck. You were hanging out. You were theoretically hanging out with your security person. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. No. So that's no. No. no okay. No. So she denies getting frisky with the security guard, but she doesn't deny stealing her kids' money. Kate admitted that she withdrew $50,000 from their trust twice, and she didn't plan to stop, explaining, I will have to keep borrowing from it to survive. Mm, girl, why don't you go work at, like, you know, the CVS, the grocery, yeah, there are so many places hiring right now. She could have totally gotten it. Well, I'm saying right now, this is obviously a while ago. Actually, was it? Actually, that was 2018. So it wasn't even that long ago. She could have totally gotten a real job instead of pulling 100K out of her kid's account, especially because her reality TV career continued after her divorce. John didn't get any show, but she got a show titled Kate Plus Eight, and she got $40,000 per episode. So she made a ton of money back in 2018 hmm so why would she have to take the money out of her kids account where the money where the money went where the money is you know because as a mom right do you guys want to know where the money is all right and uh, by the way i want you to know i don't judge you at all i know what oh, you're talking about i just want to be able to have a conversation with you because definitely these are moms here definitely. and they want to understand and, like who you really are and i'm real and i have nothing to hide john was quoted saying Quote, it's disgusting and it's morally wrong. Parents are not supposed to withdraw any money from these accounts without permission and without drawing up paperwork that they will pay it back. But she has produced no paperwork and no payments have been made. You can't just live off your kid's money. It makes me feel disgusted. She has been on TV telling the world that she has saved her children's money when she's actually been stealing from them. She's a hypocrite. There's been no remorse from her at all. That is something I do like about John is that he does seem to show remorse for what he's put his kids through, but Kate is ruthless. She really doesn't care. But in this case, the judge did side with John because clearly Kate is in the wrong. But when it comes to their divorce, I do think they were wrong on both sides because yes, Kate probably cheated with the security guard, but I'm pretty sure that John was cheating with the babysitter. Yeah to clear this up he denies sleeping with the babysitter so he's saying he did not have a physical relationship i, mean, I just have to clear it up i just got it from you know, the you know, well, I'm, he not, I'm not i'm not here <laughs> but he does have a new girl but it does john and you we gotta say john does have a a, a new girlfriend I, mean, I, I would think he wouldn't want to piss her I mean, off 
In that clip, Whoopi is denying the allegations because they're trying to legally protect themselves, but there's definitely something weird going on here. But when it comes to Colin and his story, he claims that he believes his family would still be together today if they weren't forced onto reality television. If they had the capability of co-parenting, that would be nice. You know, they don't need to be best friends, but it would have been nice if they could be adults about it and get along and do it for the sake of their kids. If you guys hadn't done that reality show, do you think your family would be intact? Um, I think so, yes. You know, I think the pressure of, of being in front of the whole world and, you know, everything you, every mistake you make is, is, is out there. Um, I think that was a big influence of them not being together. I agree with Colin. If they didn't do that reality show, they probably would all still be together. I mean, who knows? Because Kate really does seem like an extreme Karen. So I don't know how much longer John would have been able to handle that. But Hannah also agrees that she would love to see her family back together. You ever wish these two could have gotten along? Always. Yeah. It would be nice, you know, stand in a room with them and not think that they hate each other, but they still both love me, so it's fine. <laughs> In this video, we've only seen Colin and Hannah's side. There's still six other siblings we could hear from who may have entirely different stories. But when it comes to Colin, it does seem like he's super emotional about being away from his siblings. And I do think it's bizarre that the parents really can't work it out so the kids can at least have some type of relationship. You know, I love them to death. You know, they're the only... Hmm. Sorry. No, I get it. <laughs> There's nothing like the bond between brothers and sisters. There, you want to, do you, can somebody get yeah, a tissue real quick? Okay, grab a tissue. Yeah. Don't want to smudge the makeup. <laughs> there is no shame in loving your siblings, not at all. Go yeah, can out. you actually just re-ask questions? Yeah, yeah. What would you like to say to your siblings? Um, I love them very much and, you know, kind of how I see it is without parents involved, it's just me and them and um, I really hope that, you know, one day when I have kids that, you know, my kids will know their aunt and uncles. Colin is clearly working through his emotions and I wonder if Kate reached out to him after this interview because I can't imagine being a mother in this situation and just ignoring my child. But it seems like she's living her best life. I mean, this article came out less than a week ago and Kate Gosselin is happy and at peace in her new downsized North Carolina home. And it's nice that she's happy and at peace while her children are over here struggling. I mean, that's just... <laughs> That rubs me the wrong way. And it seems like she's starting a new life because she's moved out of her home in Pennsylvania to North Carolina. And it seems like her new smaller home is probably more fitting because she got caught stealing from her children and that's not cool. So I'm glad that she downsized because she shouldn't be exploiting them any further. When it comes to John and Kate, there's still so much more to their relationship. When they were at their peak, TMZ was all over them. Everyone was talking about their lives and what was going on there because it was so chaotic but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below here's my email if you have any other video ideas for me and i'll see you in a new video soon bye guys